good morning children back to the class so dear children today we are going to have a new topic for both students uh, english first till now we have completed in last lesson we have seen the um, when and where to use punctuation and all and the capital letters we have seen and today let us start the new topic what is our new topic is in more 32 comprehension comprehension means what so this comprehension is the the word comprehension means to understand what is the meaning of comprehension ha uh, comprehension means understand this is the word meaning what is understand so understand the thing what we are doing so the any this comprehension is nothing but making different kind of stories story writing will be there so one story when they have given and uh, then we have to read out that uh, story the full story is there so first you have to read out the story then after reading out they will be giving down some questions and a meaning uh, blanks so all that we have to complete while reading the story <laughs> so if you are open to test book 98 so just you open and see first we will see the rules and regulations of the comprehension how we make A story or a passage is given to the student to read and understand. It is followed by question set on the story or a passage. So after reading the question down, the questions uh, after reading the story, questions will be there. The main idea of comprehension is to test the student's ability. So why this comprehension we give this big story set there? Then to test the ability of the student. Uh, to understand the given story or a passage so first of all you have to understand what is the story what it is it mean so what the information what a, uh, information it is giving to us so that we have to know then after that how to attempt comprehension questions so first of all how to attempt read the story or a passage at least twice to get a clear idea about it. so once they have given the one passage means that passage should be read well so till two three times if you have read once not possible second time third time just you have to read out then after reading only now take a look at the questions beside the story read each question carefully and try to understand what it asks so first of all you have to read the paragraph after reading paragraph if you are uh, have an idea about the paragraph then you read the questions first after reading then each question you read and you understand the what the question mean so the what is the they are asking through that question read the first question find the answer and mark it read it on your own words so write it in your own words exactly no need to write so after reading but content should be there what question they ask that answer should be similar so that you have to write your own now look at the second question and find the answer continue in this manner till all the questions have been answered revise each answer so after writing down each answer you have to revise is it correct or not then fourth one you must try not to copy a language of the story in your answers so what is there exactly you should not copy in the story what is there exactly if you copy there is try to find other words for a for the words mentioned in the story so the different words are mentioned so that meaning you know so when you know the meaning then you can uh, understand it and write in your own words then it's without changing the meaning so the meaning should not change but the words you can change next fifth last one look at the marks each question carries to write accordingly for one mark question write a very briefly for two marks question write a accordingly so according to the marks how much mark they have given so first question is one mark question means then you have to make a small one then if it is two marks means the content should be little more should be there so like that you have to see the question and then how many marks it is the question has given according to that you have to now we will see the one story then you will understand <coughs> tick and tock were twins 
9 years old and extremely loud extremely naughty if they were sitting quietly you could be sure that they were thinking of some uh, mischief mischief so here taken to both were the twins so this both twins were how many how old are they 9 years old and extremely naughty so means naughty means they are very means they play and they move here and things they make a lot of disturbance there if they were sitting quietly so in case they are sitting quietly you could be sure that they were thinking of some mischief so if they are sitting quietly means we can think that maybe they are thinking to do what next naughty thing for that one day a friend gave them a packet of the sneezing pop powder now chicken talk could hardly wait to try the sneezing powder on some uns uh, unsuspected helpless victim uh, so victim so on the helpless victim so that is they have given the one kind of powder what is sneezing powder they have given so after seeing their sneezing powder what they told let them uh they are waiting to how to uh, on whom they have to spend uh, put that use that powder and test it the next one <coughs> and their victim happened to be their new uh, friend teacher madam mezuli so and they what they got on that where they uh, by whom on whom they are going to uh, try the their madam so then french teacher uh, madam mizula so her name was mizula so on her they wanted to try this french lady was short and obsy so this french lady is a short and obsy the next one what happened with a head of a black curly uh, trimming on her huge shoulders so the hair is still here the curly hair nicely she has the next one the moment she entered the class she closed up so close then after entering the class what she she closed close up on their chest so as she enters there what she does that naughty boys are there na so that she sees them weeping her face with a pink blue dotted handkerchief and painting for breathing <coughs> what they have done so this she was just looking there the moment she entered the class she closed up on the on the chair weeping her face and a uh, weeping her face with a pink cloth dotted handkerchief and painted for breath so the painted for me she is waiting for the breath so for that she is uh, taken handkerchief she has taken now was the fun now was the time both tick and tock went up to her table wished her very so politely and introduced themselves to her so they went to the teacher and they have introduced themselves oh you order a huh? order a little boys how polite you both are while talking to them she accidentally dropped her handkerchief on the floor tick uh deep for the detailed little piece of the cloth laying on the floor and after a moment gave it back to her smelling so uh, innocently so here what smiling so innocently where is very innocently he was smiling oh thank you you dear little boy and and so saying she put the hanky to her face and hutch 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 oh dear hutch tick and tock both went back to their places sat down and shook hands so they both shook their hands the powder worked so sneezing powder so as they put use that powder they start the sneezing there what these both did they went to the teacher table and she where she kept her uh, handkerchief pink handkerchief and they went both nicely they were wishing by the time her hanky was down then tick has taken and uh, put this very silently he put that uh, 
sees his father on the then quietly he is smiling very innocently he smiled and he gave as she used that kerchief kept near her face <coughs> she started to sneeze it her church then this both naughty boys went to their their places and sat there and they were shake, giving the shake to each other and they were telling that father is not now look at the following words into the dictionary or the treasure so that you can so you can write the answers in your own words do this each time you do comprehension exercise so uh, whenever we do the comprehension so we have to take the dictionary or otherwise in net uh, treasures means from the net you can take and whatever the different words are there they have given the meaning there so what uh, whatever the is they have given all this the words you have to find out the meaning what is this is extremely naughty or this closed up so all these things you have to find out from the dictionary for me and fill in the blanks with the words in the story copy the words from the passage so you have to copy from the passage tick and talk with dash twins so nine years so paragraph they have given so that paragraph here and there you have to find out and complete and same thing true or false you have to see the true or false and if it is correct you can put the tick mark and all the down they have given the question and answers you have to see the question and answers then according to that you have to give your own answer you try to do by yourself then i will give you as a pdf so that you can see and write down in your textbook this all things this word meaning and all you can do by yourself i hope you have understood the lesson now let us see the one more lesson is there that is a picture composition so lesson number picture uh, 38 lesson number 38 so i will explain because this is you how to do by yourself what is that one picture for uh, learn for your exams thank you